Hey everybody, from the First Alert Desk, I'm Chief Meteorologist Bill Walsh. Want to jump in here? A couple things. Flash flood warning now has been issued till about one o'clock. We're continuing to watch some pretty high uh, rivers and some of the creeks, like Church Creek, and some of these creeks are starting to really kick up. Plus, we have a high tide coming up, so we're going to talk about that. Uh, we are welcoming you on Facebook Live, so put out your questions on the bottom. We'll try to answer those. And also, uh, we appreciate you watching us here on Live Five Plus, where you get the streaming service 24/7. So let's get right to the maps. I'm going to show you what's going on right there. And again, you can see. Uh, we do have a first alert weather day, but the red area right there is the new flash flood warning. Again, that's going to continue here through uh, just after lunchtime. We do have some high water in some of these creeks already coming up. So if you are in or around some of these tributaries that are continuing to add up with the rain, be on the lookout for that. We also have a flash flood watch in effect as well as a flood advisory. So you can bottom line see we have a lot of rain. Here's our storm system moving across North Florida. That's kind of a wide shot. You can see what's going on with this. A a lot of moisture across South Carolina. Now we're starting to see some thunderstorms right along the South Carolina uh, coast as well. Not seeing any rotation with that, but as this storm works its way north and east, we'll continue to see that rain pile up in the low country. We'll zoom on in. Again, you can see the flood advisories right there, but look at the tremendous amount of rainfall. Also seeing some of that lightning now as it makes its way on up in toward coastal South Carolina, and that's going to push right across the Tri-County area. Again, we could see two to three plus inches of rain in some areas, in particular if we get some of these convective storms, uh, the thunderstorms that move on shore. So we'll watch that pretty carefully. High tide 1117, but look at this eight foot tides really uh, way above normal. Normal again is well below that. Uh, the flood stage starts at seven. Eight feet obviously shows that we will have a problem in the next hour to two hours as that tide comes up. We'll continue to watch uh, some pretty high tides, so just kind of be on the lookout for that. Rainfall amounts three plus inches in some places, in particular north of the city, up toward Georgetown, up to Myrtle Beach. You could see up to four to five inches. As an average, we're going two to three. Uh, and again, some localized areas that will be higher. So again, look at those rainfall amounts. That's pretty high. Somerville back over to Monk's Corner, Charleston, and again, some of these areas locally could even be higher and the wind gust as we have for lunchtime we're already seeing some 25 30 mile an hour winds uh, we could see 35 36 mile an hour wind gusts at lunchtime along the coast even a little bit higher in some places along the beaches by evening we have another push of wind as the storm goes north and gets better organized it'll continue to drop in pressure. So the back side of the storm, even though the rain will be ending, that wind will continue to be gusty. So we'll have winds through the midday hours, maybe a little break later, and then more wind later tonight as the back side of that storm pulls to the north and east. So just kind of throw that in your planning. So uh, even though, you know, through the evening it may have started to back off a little bit, we might see more wind as the storm starts to pull away later on. So we do have wind advisories out there. Uh, again, just be careful out there. Gusty winds, 30 up to 40 miles an hour are definitely going to be possible. Top three impacts looking at rain, heavy at times, two to three, maybe up to five inches of rain. Again, that wind, 30, 35 mile an hour winds with higher gusts up to near 50. Uh, and again, the coastal flooding is already a problem now. It'll continue to be a problem as we make our way through the day. Those are the top three impacts right there. Let me show you live outside. Again, you can see some very choppy conditions out there in the, uh, out there to take a look at the double diamonds there from the uh, aquarium. It's been choppy all afternoon. Temperatures right now are pretty much in the low 60s. Well, look at the wind northeast at 21 as we speak. Falling barometer standard pressure is 29.92. We're at 29.61 and falling. So that storm continues to crank up with temperatures holding right now in the uh, in the 60s. So again, it is pretty much a uh, you know kind of a rainy, windy, cold situation as we speak. So we'll continue to monitor that uh, as we speak. Now, as far as the the wind themselves. Let me see if I can't pull up a uh, the one of the wind gusts. Uh, this is one of the, the current wind gusts here. Uh, the, oh, this is the future tracker as well. I want to show you as we make our way through the day. Notice through lunchtime, still rain, but on the back side of the storm, as it wraps up, we're going to start to see more of those rain showers kicking in. That's going to be through about 8 o'clock tonight, and eventually it'll all lift out of here later on tonight. So, again, that's that, those sort of, uh, those are just some of the things that we have to con continue to keep an eye on as far as just how much rain. Uh, we do have some pretty gusty winds out there uh, as we speak. Let me see if I can't pull up um, one of these uh, wind uh, wind graphs because it is, uh, it's 
pretty gusty out there as we speak. Here we go. Uh, again, there's that live camera you can see outside. Uh, the winds have been gusty throughout the uh, day and will continue here into the afternoon uh, as we look at some of the wind gusts themselves. Uh, these are the current wind gusts. Look at these numbers here. This is pretty impressive. All right, look at these numbers. 27, 28, uh, Kiowa, but just to the south of us, that's where the storm is coming up from. So you're going to see that onshore flow, very similar to a tropical system, not tropical in nature. It doesn't get its energy from the warm ocean waters. It's getting its energy from the upper level jet that's moving by, and that's helping to create what we call a cold core system or nor'easter, and that's really what we're looking at right there. So again, lots of heavy rain right now. As I kind of show a wider shot, uh, you can see what it looks like out there uh, with the rainfall uh, in motion, and there's a lot here across coastal South Carolina and some scattered convective energy thunderstorms as that pushes off to the north and east. Not going to rule out an isolated tornado, but the tornado threat would be more offshore. However, if we get more into that warm sector, just some areas right along the coast, again, we could certainly uh, see some of that uh, fire up. So we'll have to watch that as you uh, take a look here. And again, off to our south and east, some of these storms uh, we're watching. Uh, in particular, we're looking at uh, that one that's just off the coast of Charleston. So that's pretty, pretty much a... Uh, pretty good thunderstorm out there. So uh, again, we're going to just keep an eye on that and uh, watch for the, uh, to see if there's anything spinning up. Let me look at the velocity real quick. So that's, there's nothing rotating there. Well, maybe a little bit offshore there. Uh, so you can see a little bit back uh, southeast of Charleston. So uh, this, this area that's down there. So uh, again, that may be a rotating storm offshore. Whether it gets onshore, it's just going to be up in the air. But again, as you look at the uh, high res uh, right now, you can see we have an awful lot of uh, rainfall in the area. So that is a, a live update. We're going to continue to keep you updated here and on the air and on Facebook. Again, uh, if you've got some questions, we'll try to answer them. We'll go back and answer some of those questions. Uh, we appreciate you guys following us on Live Pipe Plus, by the way, on Hulu, uh, on uh, Fire Stick, and all of the streaming services uh, that we keep you updated here uh, throughout the day. Uh, we'll watch it right here. We're in the Storm Center. I hope you have a good Sunday. Be careful out there. If you have to drive, it's going to be windy and wet, uh, and we'll keep you updated on that flood warning. Once again, we do have a flood warning, flash flood warning in some particular areas, so in some of those areas, be very careful. We'll keep you posted here, and of course, all afternoon on Live Five news on here online and by the way download the app you got it right here it's free you get those little push alerts all the time we'll keep you updated here have a great sunday